all right guys welcome back to the other video in this video i'm going to talk about linear regression before diving into the coding section i want to explain how it works first so yeah actually it allow us to map the numeric inputs to the numeric outputs fitting a line into the data point what i mean is let's say uh, in this graph uh, you are seeing the inflation rate from 2016 to uh, I think 2020 and then uh, at the beginning of 2016 the inflation rate is somewhere near 100 but by increasing with time your inflation rate is somehow increased uh, and uh, there is not such linear uh, increment uh, as you can see within the 2016 within several uh, different months you have different inflation rates uh, but uh, let's say the trend of increment is somehow we, we can guess the pattern is somehow uh, increasing and with the help of linear regression what we can do is based on these all points we can fit the line uh, which represent the like inflation rate increment in inflation rate so as you can see in the next figure so uh, even though we try to fit the uh, fit all the observation into line will have some kind of errors so this uh, this errors we, we try to minimize the error uh, on overall this line so yeah exactly um, if we talk in in representation of equation so the regression equation will look like y equal to b0 plus b b1 into x uh, where b0 is the constant and y is the dependent variable which we uh, we try to guess uh, in in this graph y is the this line uh, value and then b1 is the coefficient of which we determine using our linear regression model and then x1 is the independent variable which is uh, in this case uh, it's the year so based on year we have the y values called uh, this inflation rate and then we are trying to guess the inflation in future as well as inflation between this month but of course there will be some error so we, we try to minimize this error so that's how the linear regression works so in in more detail i'm going to open the code section and then uh, explain the things all right so i prepared this notebook and i'll provide this notebook in the video description as well for this particular video i'm going to use the uh, shanghai air quality index and weather data set from 2014 to 2021 the data set is available through this link also uh, i'll provide this uh, data set link in the video description and uh, talking about linear regression as i uh, show you in the slide so here in the slide uh, there is uh, basically only two type of variable one is year and then another one is uh, our inflation rate so similarly 1d regression equation is the also the same kind of data set where we have one independent variable called x and then uh, another dependent variable called y based on change on x we are trying to compute the y and to do so we have this uh, linear regression model from scikit-learn which is uh, easily available uh, in the scikit-learn library sklearn.linear model we can import it uh, as i imported the train test split uh, this module uh, in the previous video i'm going to also use same function to split my data set and then i'm trying to import pandas and numpy as well as a matplotlib for plotting my data set and here simply i load the data set actually my data set is 
one folder above uh, there is folder called data and then inside uh, I have this CSV file so I simply run this file uh, sorry I need to run the first cell uh, first because I need to import PD and then uh, only I can use the PD okay now this is how my data look like so right now I have date maximum temperature minimum temperature total snow and sun hour UV index and all these uh, different features and based on which uh, I'm going to calculate this AQI values uh, which is air quality index and then greater the air quality index then uh, it will be more hazardous to uh, the people and then here uh, uh, if you try to see the all the column names so you can of course click df.columns to see all the columns and then uh, if you try to see the unique values inside this aqi explained then simply click df aqi explained dot unique to see the uh, unique values so here uh, we have I think one two three four five classes but uh, I think if you are doing the classification problem so you are going to use this field but uh, I think in linear regression uh, we, we are going to dealing with the regression kind of regression kind of problem so uh, I'm going to deal with AQI so AQI explained is not necessary in my case okay so here uh, so for the simple linear regression model what you can do is uh, simply this is uh, simply the optional field so you can ignore this as well df.index equal to df.date so simply i am assigning date as the index and then uh, for ax um, ax value i am going to use the uh, since as I said here, so it's 1D linear regression. So I'm going to only see the linear regression relationship between heat index, temperature, and then air quality index. Uh, what is the, uh, I mean, relationship between these two things. So to do so, I have, uh, I have only filtered the heat index C column from my data frame and then values will help me to give the array and then i receive it into the all the number comma one uh, size and then similarly air quality index i assign the values and then receive it to minus one comma one and after that i simply split my data set into 80 percent and 20 percent uh, 80 percent training data set and 20 percent test data set and then i also assign the random state to 42 if you did not assign this parameter then your accuracy will be different based on different random states so i'll, I'll explain what i mean later uh, here uh, it's it's very simple it's like knn uh, as we done before so here uh, you have to like call the function and then it doesn't have any parameter by default but if you want to add any parameter so simply you can uh, enter shift and tab so you will see all the uh, required parameters i mean all the optional parameters as well so by default i think it's fine with the default parameter if you don't know about any parameter then simply leave it as default and if you want to study about parameters simply i recommend you to check the official documentation and and some some search on your own and then simply uh, after that you need to fit your model fit uh, x train and y train and then simply calculate the score uh, lr dot score x test x test and y test uh, here one thing you you need to notice is like for the fitting the model we have training data set x train y train but for the 
like calculating the score we have test data set which is also known as unseen data set and if you try to see the score then uh, you will get uh, somewhere between 11.5 percent accuracy but as i said if you change the random state or if you completely ignore the random state then your accuracy might have changed let's say it has only six percent and then now it's only five percent eight percent ten percent and then every time you run it will try to shuffle your data in the random random form and then uh, your trend data set and test data set were split uh, based on random randomly so that uh, you will get the random uh, you will get the random accuracies so i'm going to again reassign the random state things as well so it has 11.5 percent and here are uh, two measure the accuracy of the regression of uh, regression problem we have two popular matrices which is rmse and r score r square and this simply the r square is same as the score but rmse we, we need to calculate uh, either by applying manually by formula or you can simply import it from the sklearn dot matrices here i try try to calculate both both the matrices so here i simply first of all try to predict uh, the value of x test lr dot predict and then uh, based on my y predict data set i try to calculate r square score uh, so which is r square score and then you have to pass the first parameter is y test your actual value and then your predicted value and based on that uh, it will uh, assign r square value here and similarly for mean square error you need to pass the whitest actual value predicted value and then squared is called to false by default it will calculate mean error um, i think if you uh, if you just assign squared is called to true then sorry um, if you assign squared equal to true then uh, your accuracy will be mean square error but if you assign squared equal to false then your accuracy will be uh, rmse so we are calculating rmse root mean square uh, error so it's the correct form and then if you run this cell so you can see that score is uh, 0 0.1156 and here also 1156 that means from uh, simply the model dot score you will get the r square value and also you can calculate the uh, rmse sorry i forgot r so rmse rmse is 71.3 percent and if you try to plot this regression line uh, in the matplotlib format so you will see the uh, exact data set so in the y-axis i assign air quality index a, a, a q i value and in the x-axis i wrote the uh, heat index and then uh, our data are not uh, are not ex exactly fitting into the line because uh, it has lots of variance as you can see um, even though we have temperature 20 but we have a uh, lots of different value air quality index value based uh, only in the 20 degree centigrade that means uh, but according to our equation so it will only take this value is in the 20 degree centigrade so yeah that's why uh, uh, i think it's not the best fit but that's how you you can calculate the uh, regression uh, regression equation and if you try to calculate the regression equation uh, so simply based on i assign the model name is lr so simply write lr.coef dash underscore so it will give you the coefficient of 
our linear regression and similarly uh, if you try to calculate the intercept uh, the constant so it will lr dot intercept uh, underscore so based on that your regression equation for uh, heat index will be y equal to minus 2.27 something x plus 282.76 so based on this equation we have this equation and similarly for the multi-dimension linear regression so you will have the uh, instead of one variable you will have the multiple variables a1 x1 a2 x2 a3 x3 and dot 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 a n x n plus b uh, this b is the constant uh, which is also known as this value and uh, x1 x2 x3 are the features which is also known as these columns column names and then uh, our y value is the aqi air quality index and then if you try to calculate the r square so uh, similarly it's just the uh, like we, we need to update the input and output variables so for for now this problem uh, we have x value i mean the input value will be uh, you should remove the aqy aqy explained and date field from the uh, our data set so it will be x and then our target will be aqi and uh, simply split your data set 80 percent and 20 percent and then uh, try to calculate the linear regression and then fit the model and then you will get the accuracy so right now uh, if i run this cell so you will get the accuracy of 0 0.27 uh, it's 27 percent so now our accuracy is increased based on multi-dimensional linear regression so yeah uh, that's that's the simple basic mathematics and simple uh, model training for the uh, regression problem but there are lots of things like cross validation based on uh, to ignore this uh, ignore the our result i mean the accuracy of the model uh, right now our accuracy of the model is highly depend on the random state but uh, to reduce the uh, reduce the effect of this random state you need to do the cross validation also there is the uh, process called regularization which help you to um, under fit i mean which help you to like avoid the overfitting problem so i am going to explain these things in the next video but for now that's all about linear regression i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching